What is going on guys? Cameron here from 3 Crafts Mafia Gaming. Today I'm going to be bringing back my series of MLB RBI Baseball 2016. Sorry myself for Vicente haven't really been posting lately. Due to the summertime and him getting a job, we've been really busy. So we haven't really established a schedule for recording. But hopefully we can get back in the groove and start recording again. I will be starting this series over. As you can tell, this is game one of the season for the Cleveland Indians as their opening day logo is on the field. I started over due to the fact of our first game I recorded was a 15 inning game crash and since I was never able to finish it I figured might as well start over. That and due to the fact that I've played this game off and on since then without recording I decided to record that and start over. Starting off rough. <laughs> um, definitely starting out rough. Uh, getting a three run home run. But let's see what I can do to bring it back. Uh, quick question for you all. How have you all been enjoying this baseball season? Uh, you know, comment down below your team and how they've been doing and whatnot. You know, highlights of the year that you really enjoyed. Wow. Definitely, this is the year to be a Cleveland Indians fan for sure. Going, you know, number one pretty much all season long in the AL, uh, at least in their division, which I believe is AL Central. Uh, and, you know, breaking a franchise record from 13 straight wins to 14 uh, was pretty awesome. And the way they won that 14th game was definitely my favorite game I've seen all year. 19 innings against the Toronto Blue Jays. Took a home run from D.H. Carlos Santana to uh, break the tie. And then it took the Indians to hold him in the bottom of that last inning to end the game. Pretty exciting. Got to see it all. It was about a six and a half hour game, I believe it was, in the end. But definitely a great season for baseball. With the second half starting, you know, after the All-Stars game, you know, AL taking the win, which means they're going to get the home field advantage for this year's World Series. You know, it's the the Cleveland Indians have had a rocky start in this second half. So I'm, I'm hopeful. I mean, you know, I would really love to see them make the playoffs, which, you know, it's really looking like they're doing. And then, not only that, but hopefully they can keep up with the momentum that the Cleveland Cavaliers had and hopefully win the World Series and take home another championship to Cleveland. Uh, the last time the Indians won the World Series was 1951 or 52, uh, one of those two years. But definitely this season has been awesome for the Cleveland Indians, you know, a lot of great hitting, a lot of great pitching, a lot of guys going yard, and a lot of pitchers just getting their job done. It's, it's just been an amazing season for the Cleveland Indians. So, hopefully I can, you know, make them proud and make this a good series for the Cleveland Indians. So, let's see what I can do. It's the bottom of the second, I'm down 3-0. All, all these guys, you know, they want to go yard. I, I'm trying to force them to hit in a downward ground ball motion, but all the balls just keep going up, and that's just getting easy outs for Boston right here. So, I've been down from worse. So, let's see what I can do. It's pretty tough, you know, playing when you're down, but once you can get in a rhythm of, you know, pitching and and hitting, it's it's good. I know I said I was going to be keeping a home run 
count for the season, but I have already forgotten that from the first video. So I'm not gonna keep track of how many home runs I hit this in this series, but you know, you guys will definitely see them all. If I don't talk that much, guys, sorry, it's because I'm trying to focus, and so. Was it Big Poppy earlier? That's No, he's 0-1. I was going to say, was it him that stepped up in earlier and hit that home run? Not sure who that was, but glad it at least wasn't him. Um, speaking of Big Poppy, going to be his last season. Um, you know, good for him. He's going to be retiring at 40. That guy's definitely a legend in baseball and a legend in Boston. You know, being able to be the guy that was kind of known for breaking the great Bambino's curse um, and saying that Boston will never win a championship. Which, you know, good for him. You know, he's won, what, three World Series now with Boston? You know. Which is pretty cool. You know, a lot of people actually hate Ortiz, but, I, you know, he's an alright guy. I'm, a, I'm definitely a fan of his. Get down in the dirt. Score. Yes. One on the board. Now I'm down two. Here we go. Something you guys will notice about me is I don't take balls that much. I typically go for the hit. 80% of the time. Oh, I should have kept him at third. I don't know. This time I'm going to stay at third. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Oh, safe. Wow. Able to tie it up off one hit. Oh, beautiful. I'm going to send him from third. Make this a 4-3 game. Here we go. Like I said, for me, it's all about getting in a hitting rhythm. Now I'm going to keep him there at third. It's actually been a while since I've played this game. Wow. Wow. Towering shot. Deep right. She's gone. Wow. That's another thing I'm loving about the Cleveland Indians. Their announcer, known as Hammy. That guy has called some amazing home runs this year. My definite favorite was the first walk-off home run for the Cleveland Indians. Cleveland Indians this year by Carlos Santana. Just an amazing call that moment I remember watching it. it it was just amazing that call here we go another one Jason Kipnis wow I, I don't know if Boston's gonna be able to recover from this uh, I see and I don't remember because I started this season over I don't remember if I have the mercy rule on or off so three more hits or three more runs made or scored should uh, put the mercy rule on. Um, if you're winning by 10 or something like that, I believe it was. It'll end the game. So. We'll see if we can make that happen. Uh, it would definitely make the video a short video, but an exciting video for sure. Uh, uh, there's a joke going on in the Cleveland Indians locker room between Mike Napoli and uh, Jason Kipnis. It's, for those of you who know or have seen the movie uh, Major League, it's, I want to say, well, yeah, it's a comedy, basically, I would say. Uh, the One of the main people in the movie is Charlie Sheen. He plays the pitcher. They call him the wild thing because he couldn't really see when he first started pitching, 
so they figured out he needed glasses and then uh, he became a very good pitcher. Anyways, uh, there's a guy named uh, Serrano and he has this little statue, it's kind of like his god that he prays to named Jobu. And Jobu helps him, or is supposed to help him hit curveballs because that guy can absolutely smash, smash the ball, make home runs, but he can't hit anything but a fastball. So now the Cleveland Indians, uh, one day, Mike Napoli showed up to the locker room, and in between him and Jason Kipnis' locker, brought a Jobu statue, uh, you know, just That's as a fun. joke. Um, and then the next day, Jason Kipnis showed up with his, and so they kind of made a shrine for both of them. They have, like, this little mini office drawer thing full of, like, uh, mini alcohol bottles uh, for the Jobu statues, which is in the movie. Serrano always has a little shop of some sort of alcohol or Jobu. Uh, poor, poor dude, um, Jan Gomes. He's had a rough season this year. Definitely my favorite catcher on the team. He's, uh, he was having a very good season at the start. Was going yard, making the plays and the saves at home plate. And then just kind of had a rocky, you know, spot in the season. So, as a joke, they sacrificed, uh, raw chicken to the Jobu statues at a, uh, before a game in the locker room. And that game... Uh, Jan Gomes ended up getting hurt, so it seems like the sacrifice to Jobu had a negative effect. Oh my gosh. Lonnie Chisholm. Wow. We'll find out right here if this ends the game or not. It's either at 10 or more than 10. That concludes the game, ladies and gentlemen. A shutout first win back for this series. Hope you guys did enjoy. See you in the next episode. My goal is to make at least one video for each series that, you know, the teams play. So this series, this will be the video for Boston. And the next team I play, I want to say it's the Tigers. I'll make one video against them. I'm playing a whole 162-game series, so I'm not going to be able to record every video because that would just be outrageous but i will try and make as many videos as i can for you guys but again thanks for watching hope you guys do enjoy please leave a like comment on this video uh 